Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and today we're talking about this really, really cool vest. This is the Cry License JPC. This is one of the first samples that's come out to market. A couple of the other YouTubers and uh, Milsim folks have gotten different versions of these, but this is the Tropic version of the JPC. As you can see, it's uh, really, really cool. It matches really well. Um, they use legit materials. They use the real templates. The only real difference between this and real cry is it's assembled overseas. Um, so obviously it's less expensive and it's not very compliant. That's a very important thing that was part of the licensed agreement with cry was that it wasn't very compliant because you know this is more intended for airsofters. Uh, what's really cool is you have the um, different cry labels in different spots of the uh, JPC here. And the way it's set up, it's got a back panel, has a zip on panel. so. I believe this is a replica of the Cry uh, JPC 2.0 uh, because it's got the zip-on panel in the, f in the back. Although I could have sworn that on the front there was some vertical molly channels on the actual Cry JPC uh, 2.0. So I just got to look into that. But this is pretty cool. Um, they've actually said that I can actually design a panel for this. So really looking into that and thinking of what I could put on here, given that I do run a gimbal uh, right here. As you can see, the quality of the materials, I mean, the stitching and everything, and just all the all the little details, everything's been done very, very well. Um, you know, there's a lot of JPC replicas on the market, and I think that this one really, I mean, it's cry license. It's, it's pretty much as close as you're gonna get to the actual thing. Um, they even got the little padded mesh on the inside there, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. They've got, I really love these uh, shoulder straps though. Um, I mean, these are absolutely fantastic. I remember when I got my first uh, real JPC back in the day, I can't remember if the pads were exactly like this or if they were slightly different, but I just remember that for weight distribution, shoulder pads really came in handy. I have run this recently at a range uh, and I do have, uh, I did run Haley inserts in here uh, and they did fit. And what was really cool is that it just, it just kind of made me miss um, you know, having JPC, so I'm really glad that I was able to get my hands on one again. Um, it has the three uh, mag uh, kangaroo set up in the front, but what's cool is this whole section can be completely removed. Uh, so if I can lift this up, give you guys an idea. Um, this is what underneath looks like. You basically have you know these things here uh, that pull the external cover bun open. Uh, and it, what is cool is that they actually do have little Velcro parts uh, so it sticks there and kind of lays nice and flat. But as you can see, it has the Molly channels here. So you can totally remove this panel. It's much more adaptable than the original JPC. You know, if you had like a um, 10 speed multicam tropic thing to go on the front, it would probably be perfect. We've got a couple other different pouches on here. But as you can see, between different brands of multicam tropic and you know everyone's been using the legit legit material the authentic multicam material everything's pretty damn like spot on i mean you know other than the the cry license tag which is of course different than the real one it, where it would say cry precision this says cry licensed um you can see the quality is definitely there um and i'm really really happy with how this thing's turned out and, oh i forgot you also have this little pocket up here. If you're not familiar with the JPC, there is a pocket up here where you can put like pistol mags, little admin stuff up there. I don't really use it all that much, but it is definitely nice to have. So um, if you're curious about this setup in particular, uh, check out Z-Shot's uh, Facebook page. They did a whole live stream about the whole cry license thing and how that all came to be and what it was all comprised of. But overall, I think they've done a really fantastic job. I mean, just looking at this, just ogling this, how beautiful it looks. Um, it's f absolutely fantastic. One thing I did change is the uh, the shock cord that usually ties this together. Uh, I just kind of wanted something a little cleaner, so I just did my own 550, and it just seems to blend in a little bit better. But other than that, that's the only thing I really changed. Um, still have yet to figure out what to put here and maybe design a back panel for this. That would be really cool. And if you're not familiar with the JPC, um, it's all uh, webbing here, so you kind of got to fill it up with different pouches and stuff to kind of complete the look. Uh, I mean, of course, to each their own, depending on how low profile and how light you want this to be. So this is the Cry Licensed uh, JPC. This is the, one of the first samples out of that is out there right now. And uh, I think it's pretty kick-ass. I think it's really awesome and I really love how it looks with my Multicam Tropic stuff. So you'll probably see a lot more of this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.